Hello everyone, welcome again to this MCT. So we are gonna be doing uh, a reaction video to Loki season two, episode three, I think. Uh, back to check on that again, episode three. So without further ado, let's get into this. Do not forget to press that like button. And also don't forget to leave your commentary on this particular Re uh, reaction video and let me know what you think about this whole thing my commentary also yes i like to hear from other people now and to know about your opinion in most of my reaction videos now with that being said i'm gonna say this thank you for being here one more time and let us get into this Took you so long? What am I doing here? Oh, don't get your britches in a stir. Did you bring what I asked? Answer me. First things first, do you have it? When she met Miss Minutes, I wonder, I, um, you know what? I wonder what Miss uh, Minutes is planning on doing. I'm wondering what she's planning. The one at the end of time? He told me that we need to put this package in that window. This was the plan he made when he knew the end was near for him. Get back, someone will see you. You don't exactly blend in. Okay. Better. You're not going to fit in with this stuff. I mean, she, she, uh, the AI. You know, let's not forget Miss Minute is a, uh, uh, is it, uh, an AI, probably like Chat GPT, but more advanced, more advanced because she has her own perspective, her own thoughts, and everything. So, she's more than I. I would say, w would she be considered like a Chat GPT kind of program? Or, I, I think she's more. She's probably more. I mean, she was created by the, what is it called? The one that remains. And what do I get in return? When he's back where he belongs, atop the TVA, you and I will be right by his side. Oh. They they try to lead him to, you know, being uh the one who remains. Or it, the, I think this is could this be the one who remains? Is this his past? Is this how he got to be him, or is this a different variant? But let's continue. Let us continue. <laughs> How do we get in? Without he who remains temporal or I don't know. How much time do we have? It's stable right now. We need to scale the loom's capacity to manage all those new branches. Otherwise it will fail. Can we? No. We're all gonna die still. No one's gonna die. What about Miss Minutes? Did she open up access to the loom? Miss Minutes, what about it? Conceivably, she has administrative access to the entire she TVA. Has access to the whole universe. Doesn't really matter if she's gone, and she's a wall. It's gonna be an awkward reunion, face to face with the woman who tried to kill us both. Okay, so they're going after Miss Minutes now. They're going to look for them, for Miss Minutes. In particular, because they need the passcode. She, she's the only one that actually has the knowledge of everything that the one who remains does. Because you know, she's his uh, 
creation. Or maybe she got out of her system. Let's focus on that cartoon clock. Any major figure arises from here? No. I mean, you have the Chicago fire, but that's 1871. Let's go to 1893. Ramona, what are you up to? H.H. H. Holmes. Yes, hot air balloons. Okay, this makes more sense as a destination. Yes. Saying they went to 1868 by mistake and then went 25 years ahead because this is where they wanted to be. No, no, I wouldn't describe Renslayer's action. Oh. Plus, if she has Miss Minutes there to help her, there's definitely a purpose for them going there earlier. But we just got to figure it out. I feel like Renslayer and Miss Minutes. Okay, it, this is my opinion, probably trying to bring back the one who remains and they are going on a total different mission, but we will see where this mission actually ends up. What do you call that? Breadcrumb. Exactly. This has to be a joke. Does it make you a little homesick? It's completely inaccurate, first of all. You don't think that looks like Odin? It's embarrassing. And why'd they include Boulder? No one's even heard of him. Sure they have, Boulder the Brave. You know, sometimes I forget that you're one. You are one of them. Lost my mind. Paul's not that tall. He's just jealous. He's over there seeing his father and his brothers and another guy named Boulder's uh, image. And he's like, Tall is not that tall. Oh, look, I think he's tall. He's tall. <laughs> Would you kindly open the bag? Unless you want everyone freaking out, you stay in that bag until I tell you otherwise. I think she's here. You think? Mm. She does like a good drink. And so do I. There she is. Don't let me see you. We don't want to capture them because all of a sudden they're like hiding. Why are you hiding if you're trying to? Okay, maybe they don't want to make a scene. Probably they don't want to make a scene. Is that the loom? I think so. Time is everything. We can shape it. It's him. Who? He remains. You could see the altar terror in Loki's eyes, seeing the one who remains. He looks terrified of seeing him. Time is the future of energy. And just what would you know about the future, boy? Great question, great question. This is one of the variants that he remains warned me about. It's coming, it's beginning. Oh, look where we are. I mean, does he look like he's about to go across the coal and petroleum? So, so Loki is thinking this is a variant of the one who remains. Okay, and my opinion is either this is the past of the original, the the original. Uh, of the one who remains or it would be that Loki is right and this is one of the variants but I strongly think that this is him but in the past that's what it's giving to me for now that that's just my thought on things but 
probably my thoughts might change as we go on in this whole thing. Call it a dream. Fine. Sneak. Laugh it off as pure science fiction. But if it can be dreamed, it can be achieved. Because all science is fiction until it's fact. I have a very serious now problem. The loom. Yes, and his ore is the only thing that can get us access to the loom. And who knows what else he can do? I'm sorry. Were we ever gonna get Renslayer or Miss Minutes to help us? I mean, where is she? Mr. Timely. A moment, please. Of, of, of course. As I was saying, Sir? where can we talk? That's quite a device you've got there, Timely. The way they push Renslayer away just to talk, I mean, in those days, they, they didn't really give an F about women and the opinion. If you're a woman in those days, yeah, you're not the ideal person any man wants to talk about. They probably push you over, roll you over, and just go go straight and try to do whatever they want to do like talk to the uh, to a business investor because they feel in those days a lot of women did not have a lot of investment and they didn't really have a lot of a lot of parts in business or how the economy was run so yeah i kind of see that happening but i still have some doubts oh it's it's still a, a, a prototype albeit one that many wealthy investors are competing to Acquire. No, no. I, I was thinking more along the lines of a partnership. You give me the patent rights, and I'll facilitate production. Well, sounds familiar. Like in those days, yes, people of color did not really, even if you created something, somebody pro probably was going to steal it away. Was gonna steal it from you. They're gonna take the pattern and they're gonna make it their own invention and act as if they created it. Like that was what was happening in those days. And if you wouldn't give it, your life would probably be in danger. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna give it to him one way or the other. Or it's probably gonna be smart and just make a business out of it and get some money out of it and just you know let him have it. No, I don't do partners. Excuse me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Perhaps, sir, forgive my bluntness, sir, but I, I must have your temporal loom. Oh, it, it, it appears my presentation has piqued much interest. So Five hundred dollars would conclude the bidding. I'll give you six. Seven. Eight. Eight fifty. Step aside, Hornswoggler. I was here first. <laughs> one thousand dollars. And one thousand dollars in those days was a big money. It was big cash, big money. That's my final offer. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Hey, clown, you stepped on my foot. I do apologize. I assure you any physical contact was purely incidental. Loki apologizing? Okay, first of all, can we talk about the Loki in this particular series? I don't know if it's the real Loki or if it's a variant because uh, the, 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 the Loki from the Avengers is like a... Uh, it's like a total jackass. Can we call it what it is? We're gonna call a spade a spade. That guy was terrible. Uh, apart from, you know, sometimes he wouldn't be total 
a total a hole especially when it comes to trauma safe talk yeah he sometimes i'm just he's a menace he's, loki is somebody that you cannot really unravel you don't know what he's thinking and sometimes he's nice and sometimes he's a jackass i cannot remember somebody talking about you know loki's uh th there was like um uh what is it called uh the nuts god mythology and i remember what what was the name of the Thor's wife loki would be because they said Thor's wife i can't remember her name but i'm probably gonna check on it um she had very beautiful hair and loki wanted to play a prank on Thor with cut off her hair and because she was so beautiful and people would like you know admire her he went cut off her hair and just to play prank on his brothers and when Thor came back <laughs> he saw his wife crying and he didn't know who did it so he went to his father Odin and Odin told him made him promise that he wouldn't kill Loki and then told him it was Loki who did it so Thor went ahead to look for Loki and beat the living crap out of him and told him he had to make his wife happy he should find a way to fix it and at last Loki had to go um I think to another uh to the giants or something to the one of the giants and asked him to make uh golden hair from gold strands you know and he had to make it and give it to Thor's wife again and she was happy again I'm like first of all I was like couldn't she grow the hair back but then I had no he literally uprooted the, the, the hair from her head so she couldn't even grow the hair and she forgave Loki and just wore her wig and I'm like, uh, no, no offense, but if I was the wife, Loki, we're about to be bought together. We're about to find a solution on how to grow our hair together. You're about to be bald as I am. <laughs> but you know what? Let's just continue. How about we settle this outside? Gently. Outside. <laughs> Excellent suggestion. I agree. My associate and I would love to tell you about a little business. It's too late. I, I beg your pardon, fellas, but Mr. Timely and I are in the middle of discussing. I'm sorry, this is only going to take a minute. Uh, do you all know each other? Well, fortunately, yeah, old friend. My ideas are just ahead of their time. Why wouldn't they be? Neat. The concepts are bona fide. So I just need the cool technology of this era to catch up with my visionary mind. Do you know, I never doubted it for a second. So they try to get him to talk to them or follow them, you know, to the TVA. And Renslayer is also trying to get him to listen to her own part. Your inventions are fake! Timely! Excuse me. I like that spider! <laughs> It's not really fake because he said it's not fake. It's like um, a replica, like uh, like the first one. How do you like a replica? So it doesn't really work. So he's been selling this. Even even uh, what is it called? It's a guy came and literally, you know, he bought from him a pants that would make him tall. And he's like, it's a prototype. He's a prototype. And so he's out here selling a prototype. Let's see how this goes. Ah. Uh, Oh, not a great time. Sorry, we got a development. We have a development here too. Turns out we have something even better than Miss Minutes. We have a he who remains variant. We can use his temporal aura. Okay. Fix it. 
All right. Looks like you're really good at getting away. We have that in court. Oh. Sylvie! Sylvie, no! I was beginning to think, where is Sylvie? Because I know she promised to kill every variant of Hebrew remakes. I was thinking, where is Sylvie? Yeah, I knew she was not going to be far back. I knew she was going to appear one way or the other. But is she going to kill this one? And, you know, it, it's going to be a disappointment if he does, if she does kill him. But we're going to see how it goes. You stay out of this. Oh! 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 Why don't you tell me what's going on? Come on, just between us. What are you up to? We don't work together anymore, Mobius. I don't have to tell you anything. Yeah, and look, we're not working together, Scotia. You're a fugitive. Without his help, the TVA will be destroyed. Good. Let it burn. Do you care about anything but the TVA? The TVA. The, the, the time variance. Oh, oh, oh. I know. Mobius, you're the one who sided with a Loki over me. Don't play the teamwork card on me now. Well, can I play the you tried to kill me card? Does that get me anywhere? Because the TVA is melting down. He's the key to fixing the loop. Running out of time. We need your help. No, Mobius. There is no we. Not anymore. Where do you think he got that book? If you and the TVA hadn't messed with him, he'd have remained harmless. But instead, you weaponized him. What are you talking about? Renslayer set him on a path that he wasn't meant for. I didn't give him this book. I never heard the name Victor Timely until today. I was shocked when I saw his face too. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should throw him off this Ferris wheel. But we need him. The TVA needs him. This is all very familiar, isn't it? I can't let him live. This, this button here controls the temperature through the uh, cushion. A refrigerator chair. Touch it. <laughs> Bro, is this an apparition you're... Uh, no. I'm a fully conscious and sentient artificial intelligence entity. And I have a name. Miss Minutes? Excusez-moi, mademoiselle Minutes. A version of you created an entity called the Time Variance Authority. But two variants of the same Norse god murdered him which resulted in the creation of new timelines, which would each see the rebirth of countless different versions of you. That is why you need me by your side. You created me, and we work together at the end of time. I'm here because I know what a great man you can become. Ms. Rivona? I'm just looking to restore stability to the TVA. Well, why aren't the two of you in, in cahoots with him and his butler? <laughs> they can't be trusted. Loki helped murder your variant. It's true.
Time to go. You love it. It's like the um, Caribbean. <laughs> the people he sold fake things to came for him. They're like, where is this man that sold me the fake stuff? Ah, they ran away already. Of the Midwest. You don't live here? No, this is just a, a Peter Ted. <laughs> Outside! Mm. Sir, use your legs. The key to understanding and manipulating time. This is where I keep everything I've ever imagined, all my designs, define the course of Why does Miss Minute look very suspicious here? He looks like he doesn't want Rings there and, you know, she doesn't want Rings there and the one who remains to have any kind of... Whenever they communicate to each other, she always tries to insert herself or has this look on her face like... Mm. No, like it, it's giving jealousy. It's giving a little bit of jealousy and it's giving discomfort because of the way she looks at them whenever they are communicating. My life. I like to think of it as a correspondence between myself and the visionary author Ouroboros. Thank you. I have high hopes for this partnership. You heard her, Victor. Partnership. You had to do it. <laughs> Bye. Okay, Miss Minute is diabolical. That AI is diabolical. So he had him, you know, <laughs> do that to Red Slayer. I, I was already saying something is wrong with Miss Minute because she has a diabolical look. She has this look like jealousy or something is eating her up in the inside whenever uh, you know like i say red slayer and the one who remains have a conversation her face always you know that face changes a lot all your amazing work i'm so happy to be here you have always been so smart victor <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Now, what's the rush? Oh, for a moment, I was worried that you wouldn't come with me. That you lacked Ravona better than me. Okay. Okay, why is she changing into color? Why is she changing into original self? Miss Minnie is freaking me out. She's giving a kind of romantic vibes. I mean, unless you're blind, but I can definitely see it. Long before the TVA or multiversal war, I was just a simple AI, just something to play chess with. But you knew I could be more for you. So you gave me autonomy to write my own programming. I was allowed to have wants and follow whims and become who I am. If I had a body, we could truly lead together. Mm, yes, that's, uh, that's something I, I don't know how to, to do. You never even tried. With all your powers and all your abilities, you just kept me as your thing. 
Okay, she's blaming him for not giving her a body or letting her build a body for herself. Okay, I don't know why she would need a body, but we're about to find out. I'm pretty sure it's going to have to do with his feelings of them being together. It's probably going to be something romantic, and I called it, so let's continue. Your computer, instead of what I could have been. Your girl. Okay, that is freaky. She wants to be his girlfriend. Oh, that's why she wanted a body. She wants a body so that she can be his girlfriend. <laughs> but let's see how Victor reacts to this one. Victor, what are you doing? Put that down. Don't do this. We're a team. You need me. I love you. Oh, she was about to say, I love you. Oh, Victor was like, no. You insane, you insane robot. You is not a robot. You insane AI. We are not doing this. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Let's continue. Uh -oh. Okay, okay. things are getting quite strange. <laughs> That's very uh, dangerous. Save it. I was entrusted with this mission by he who remains, not his variant. So from now on, I'm the one in charge. No! No! Step away from him. We need him. Move any closer, and he's done. Stop. Fon, what are you doing? I put the TVA above myself, even at the cost of my own happiness. My humanity. Who are you to lecture me about losing my way? <sighs> We've all lost our way, but someone has to keep track of the big picture here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's coming for the one who remains. She's coming for Victor. I don't think she cares about anybody more than she cares about killing Victor right now. I don't know how Loki is going to be able to stop her. I haven't done anything. No, you will. You'll do terrible things. I, I have beating in my ch chest. I can make my own choices. Is she gonna leave him? Looks like she, he probably, he finally got uh, Selby's attention. I mean, he did say he can make his own choice. He could change his own destiny. Well, I know that we want to believe that people can change, but I'm, 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 I'm not totally sure, see. But do we need him? Should she kill him? No, because we definitely do need him to go fix that temporal loom problem that they have. I think she's probably going to let him leave. Get him out of here! Oh, she does. Leave her to me. Oh, she got beef with, uh... What, a red slayer? She got beef, plenty of beef. <laughs> Is she gonna kill her? Kill her? I, I, okay, you know what? Let's see. I suppose I've been a box you've been wanting to take for a long time. <laughs> that must hurt. Just do it. Oh, no. I've killed you a thousand times. In my mind, each time more brutal than the last.
It's power for you, isn't it? That's what you want. A seat at the end of time. Wow, where did she send her to? That's the dead, that's the dead hero we missed, the one that Sylvie killed. He's almost turned into a skeleton. Love you. Darn. It was foolish of him to make an enemy out of someone who knows all his secrets. Oh, she. Oh, she. I know a really big one about you. I can tell you, but. But what? It's gonna make you real angry. Okay, that ending there was interesting. I wonder what the one who remains did because Miss Minis is about to open her mouth and tell the, the secret. Okay, now I totally enjoyed this episode and I'm going to say this. Thank you all for joining me. Let me know about your own thoughts on this particular episode on the commentary section. I totally enjoyed it. And I think, you know, the, the, the fact that, you know, Selby did let, you know, uh, the one who remains to be alive and for Loki to take him. And also for Miss Minute, it's kind of funny that she still have feelings for, I think she still have feelings for the one who remains and the fact that she's trying to tell Rain's player about some secrets that she knows is funny. And yes, Rain's player is totally, I think she was doing this for power. I mean, she sacrificed all her life and all of that. I kind of do understand with all of that sacrifice why she would be, she would want to be self-involved and just self, you know, look after herself first. Now with that being said, I'm going to say this. Thank you all for being here. Do not forget to press that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.